The basis for modern portfolio theory is a 1952 Journal of Finance publication of Harry Markowitz. In this video, we introduce the notation that we are going to use when talking about a strategic asset allocation approach of Markowitz. The objective of asset allocation is to find an investment portfolio so that the investor's degree of happiness is greatest. We therefore have to know three things. First, what makes an investor happy? Second, which assets can he or she invest into? And third, what are the risks and expected returns of all these assets? Now Markowitz identifies three necessary layers for conducting an optimal asset selection process. First, the input data. The input data characterizes two things. On the one hand, the probability distribution of all assets holding period returns. And on the other hand, an exact description of what makes an investor happy. Now, the second layer has to do with the investor's active decision to choose among all the assets a unique linear combination which feels just great, meaning which gives the greatest happiness to the investor. And the third layer characterizes the optimal portfolio. Now, we now introduce the notation for all these three layers. We now come to the input data first. So mu is a column vector of the assets expected holding period returns. So these are the predictable components of asset holding period returns. Or you can say these are the first moments of the holding period return distribution. Capital Sigma is the covariance matrix of holding period returns. Basically, Sigma quantifies the co-movement of the different noise components. And notice, in real life applications, mu and Sigma need to be estimated. An element of Sigma will be denoted as Sigma n, m. Now that captures the covariance between asset N and asset M. Rho NM stands for the correlation between asset N and asset M. Sigma square P denotes the variance of a portfolio P. RF stands for the risk-free rate. Capital U stands for an investor's utility function and measures how happy the investor feels about his portfolio decision. Gamma stands for the investor's degree of risk aversion. And capital W stands for the investor's wealth. Now we turn to the notation that characterizes the investor's decision-making process. WP is the column vector of portfolio weights. So the investor wants to choose WP such that he obtains the greatest degree of happiness. The expected return and the variance of a portfolio WP is called mu P and sigma square P respectively. The notation for the output of a Markowitz portfolio selection procedure is as follows. Wf is a column vector and characterizes portfolios that are on the efficient frontier. Mf is a scalar and stands for the expected return of an efficient portfolio. Sigma square f is also a scalar and it stands for the return variance of an efficient portfolio. 
WTP is a column vector that characterizes the constituents of the tangency portfolio. And the index CP stands for the complete portfolio, which at the end of the day is the optimal portfolio that gives the investor the greatest degree of happiness.